These are three macaws. It's a green wing macaw. This is a green wing macaw at the back there. That's a scarlet macaw. And they're coming now to about uh, six, seven days. If you remember, we hatched these uh, from the egg. The green wings parents hadn't bred before, so I didn't know what to expect as far as motherhood. So I took the babies just before they hatched, and in fact, it looks like they're gonna parents gonna go back down again. And if they do, I'll let them parent rear the next lot of chicks. The scarlet there, their parents aren't very good. They normally let the chicks die when they hatch, so we have to take that one out. It's a long process for hand rearing these fellas. Uh, an African grey, 12 to 14 weeks. These can go five and a half months. Can Indy did. Don't like coming off the hand rearing fold, unfortunately. A bit more demanding. We've ordered some stainless steel rings for them and put them on when they're about two to three weeks old. As you can see, their eyes are still closed. And I'm still feeding them every four hours. They kept in a, uh, an incubator, a brooder, and the temperature is roughly about 36 degrees. Keep them on a sort of a, a flannel type uh, material and change this every meal time, so every four hours. The reason I use this is the tissue can cause burning underneath when it, if they're sliding around uh, and of course also splayed legs. Although the green wing's legs stuck out there that's not splayed. Uh, you'll see them move around in dis different positions. But if they're on tissue it, it, it could cause splayed leg. Gives them a little bit of grip to, to move around. <laughs> 